Welcome guys to another video of Black Ops 2 and today I will be talking about Xbox One. Last time I talked about the PlayStation 4 so it's only fair to talk about its competition which is the Xbox One and I will also be talking about PC gaming um, something that is for a different topic for a different day that's going to be probably the fourth part to this of um, the Council Wars because that is an alternative but let's get started off with Xbox because it is pretty filled and um, last time I kinda went a little over and I need all the time I could get so alright starting off with the Xbox is gonna be the same thing like the PlayStation 4 I will be talking about the price the price is $4.99 now this is due to the fact that the Kinect is being included with the system. Now, the reason why Connect is being included is there are multiple reasons. Yes, Microsoft is still going to spy on you if you get the Xbox One. Now, it has boldly stated that it's not going to give any information to, you know, the federal government. So, you know, if you're only reporting your that four people live in your house on um, for tax reasons and there's 20 you know it's not gonna report that because they said that they're not gonna give any information to the federal government it's only for their use only but then again you know it's not here or there you know they might do it they might not it's not for me to say and as of right now their stance is they will not be giving any information to the federal government as of now. If they do, it is not, like I said, it's, as of now, it is not. The only reason why they they need, are, will be spying on you is mainly due to the fact that for their rentals and video game rentals and stuff like that, you know, monitoring to see how much people do play, you know, being able to send stuff in for movies, Netflix, all of that. You know, if there's four people in the room and you only paid to rent a movie for four people and a fifth person walks in, you know, it could disconnect you or stop playing the movie. You won't be able to watch the movie. With this said, they can auto-lock your Xbox if you are using it illegally. I know that there's going to be like, you know, first time is a warning, second time it's like a week, third time a month, and they could permanently lock your Xbox One if you are in violation of their um, user agreement. Alright, moving on to the system, and we're just talking about the system and all its, and everything under that. Understandable, I, like... I understand why won't buy off the start since the original Xbox and Xbox 360 due to the ring of death and it has been prevalent on its launches starts and up until about three or four years you know even six years after it's been released it's been very prevalent to be a problem with Microsoft that they do have problems with their systems because they go the I guess cheaper route when it comes to it and um the other reason why it is a little higher than um than the Sony is because due to the fact that they had to buy the rights or you know add blu-ray to their um blu-ray technology to their thing to their system and you know Sony does currently own Blu-ray technology, so you know each my each Xbox One you buy does profit Sony in some way or form because they will be getting a small profit of the sales for the Xbox One. So you know that's something to look forward to. All right, some of the features. There's going to be exclusives games from Rare 341 and Lionhead you know it just depends you know there's gonna be Halo 5 rumors you know you don't 
there's going to be some games for Xbox, some games for PlayStation 4. It's going to be a mix of both. Seamless integration with live television. Now, this is another reason why they need um, that, I guess, Xbox is going to be spying on you. Because, you know, they're going to send those data reports to Nelson, the Nelson Box, Nelson Corporation, and all of that. Because they're going to need the information for watching TV and stuff. So they they could accurately count how much people are currently watching off of the Xbox. Stream gameplay footage on Twitch TV. Now this is one of the one benefits. It's going to be easier to stream to Twitch TV than it is going to be to the PlayStation 4. But the PlayStation 4 you could still on certain games still stream to Twitch TV no matter what. Timed exclusive DLC for specific games like Call of Duty. You know, there's gonna you're gonna get specific downloadable content first, but that might change as soon as, um, you know, once Sony makes enough profit, you know, they're gonna be competing due to the fact that you are gonna have to be a PlayStation Plus member. There's a multimedia integration with games, um, and you know, also the NFL. You know, you're going to be able to watch NFL games. You're going to be able to go on your fantasy league. And all of this starts in 2014. Microsoft made the bid with the NFL, and they got approved, and they're going to be able to air games and do different stuff through that. You're also going to have voice slash gesture controls via Connect. So you could say Xbox on, Xbox off, Xbox start game, Xbox go to Netflix. You know, you're going to be able to, like, wave your hand, and it'll switch to that user instead of how it's going to recognize which user is using the Xbox, which is good. All right, there are some downsides to it. Now, some of these downsides is that, you know, Microsoft is going to be monitoring what you do. It is going to... It could auto lock your Xbox. It could, you know, you pay five hundred dollars for it to auto lock your Xbox if, let's say, a toddler accidentally walks in or another, you know, someone's at the door and your thing's facing the door. You know, it might accidentally do something like that. You never know. You must get the gold membership to play online. You know, you're no longer getting the, I guess, standard membership. I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure what, how the Xbox does it, Xbox Live. I think it's a little more to get the gold membership to play online. I'm not for sure. That's, I'm not really, you know, it's not really my department. I don't, I've never owned an Xbox. I have played on Xbox multiple games, you know, Halo, Call of Duty. But, you know, I am not for sure what the difference is between a regular membership and a gold membership. I think it is a little more expensive. And, you know, these are going to be different stuff that you are going to need for the Xbox. Now, one of the other downsides of the Xbox is probably going to be the price and also the fact that, you know, are you going to get the ring of death? And, you know, Xbox has never been really too great about choosing the right materials used for it. They have been known to go the cheaper route. Now, you know, they did give like half off to those who had the Ring of Death, I think, on the Xbox 360 launch. But, you know, to me, Xbox is a hit or miss. You know, I will be getting both systems. I will do, I guess, um, set up video for both. I will be getting Call of Duty Ghost for both so that I could... You know, I'll be airing both gameplays for you, and I will tell you overall, you know, which one's better, which one do I prefer, which one seems the best setup, which one is better out of the X the Xbox versus PS4. And you know, sorry for the background noise. My dog is in his bone, and he didn't want to leave. And um, I know the gameplay is very different. Also, it's you know, it's me not doing too well but you know I felt it was a hard fought game with a very difficult weapon but you know 
that's it guys that's all I have about the Xbox one as of right now I will do an update video later on till next time guys king out